Hello, this is uh, Dr. Vinkesh Bullani. I'm a consultant vascular endovascular surgeon at Kim's Hospital, Skondapur. Uh, all people will have a superficial veins and deep veins. Uh, superficial veins are veins that run close to the skin and the deep veins that run close to the bone. They are very deep in the body. And uh, any clots that happens to form in the deep veins is called DVT or deep venous thrombosis. This happens very more often in the lower limbs, that means legs, and uh, very less often in the upper limbs or halves. So the incidence of DVT is around 10 million cases per year and the death rate is around greater than 1500 cases per day. Together, uh, the deaths due to DVT and pulmonary embolism is uh, more than uh, HIV and car accidents in India. March being DVT Awareness create, uh, Creation Month, uh, so I'd like to bring a little more insight into the problem. Any sudden pain or swelling in the lower limbs, that means in the legs, and uh, sometimes the clot all the way travels up to the lungs uh, where the patient can uh, experience chest discomfort, chest tightness and uh, shortness of breath. Any person who are uh, better than recent history of trauma or recent surgeries and uh, patients who are on uh, hormone therapy for quite a long time and any recent uh, fractures and uh, cancer patients any state that precludes being actively mobile uh, can develop a patient can develop uh, DVT. So the conventional approaches uh, being patient being kept on injections uh, typically uh, unfractionated heparin or a lower flat with heparin for uh, 24 to 48 hours and uh, later we switch over to tablets like acetrom and warfarin. Uh, we keep these medications and uh, we monitor the PTN, uh, that's a blood test done to see how thin is your blood. And the cumbersomeness of these old conventional tablets is getting regularly picked and checking for a PTN uh, test. With the advent of uh, newer antibodies, regular monitoring uh, is not required. And uh, the newer tablets uh, have less interactions with the other tablets or other food uh, which we regularly intake. In younger patients and patients who fall into low bleeding profile, we pass small catheters and bias through the legs of the patient, that means through the affected limbs under local anesthesia, and uh, break the clot uh, with a powerful injection. And uh, we do sometimes even sup off the clots, which results in substantial reduction in pain and swelling, typically 48 to 72 hours, and the patient can resume their work in uh, two to three days. At this junction, March being DVT Awareness Creation Month, Kim's Vascular Center, Kondakur, uh, we would like to convey the better way to deal with DVT is not by having one. Prevention is always better than cure. So prevention of DVT is, is like uh, we typically avoid uh, sedentary lifestyle and regular exercises, weight moderation, stay hydrated all the time. And uh, when you are typically on long sitting or standing hours and uh, while you are in travel, stretch your leg, have a brisk walk. Thank you.